This is apparently the best AI in the market right now, and it is free to use and open source. This is called DeepSeek, and if you have not seen recently, it has been all over the internet because China has created this AI that is supposedly significantly cheaper than the cost that OpenAI has done for uh, creating a similar, except this one is apparently better than OpenAI's latest model. So today we're gonna test it out right now and let's just get right into it. And this is my first time messing around with it, but I have seen some people already use it and some of the abilities that it can do. I am using the web browser and I have selected R1. So do note that this might not be the most powerful version, especially for people who download it locally and have a much faster computer and they have bigger parameters. But for now, let's make things simple. And this is the default I say. So let's do for a website. And I'm gonna stick with the basic uh, HTML, CSS and JavaScript because I've done this test multiple times on almost every single AI software that has been out that's quite public in the States at least. So this will give a pretty big reference for uh, how good this is now. And let's do in HTML, CSS and JS. Uh, let's do uh, make it an epic, beautiful, beaut, I mean, come on, I can't even spell. Beautiful, let's do modern design with some insane animations or graphics for the front page. And let's say we could technically pick a theme, but let's, let's, let's do deep seek, surprise me and make it so good. I'm just gonna start typing random stuff to see how this AI works. And let's see here. First of all, let's analyze how this replies. So it does something quite similar to uh, ChatGPT, which is the thinking option and it's showcasing this full on description. And let's see if it actually writes out some code, ideally with uh, stuff that someone who has no coding experience could replicate. Cause ideally what I like to do with these AI uh, tests is can someone who has zero coding knowledge do it with AI? And if that's the case, then guess what? That means that's not good for people who are focused on coding because that means they could easily replace you if the AI is at that level. So right off the bat, let me tell you right off, this is giving us a lot of code. If you've used like the early versions of uh, ChatGPT, even Claude and some others, they would essentially uh, crash and or tell you you've run out of your limits, especially for the free, even the paid, the $20 a month options. And this thing is just going crazy. It's continuing, it's like it's still running out this massive amount of code that <laughs> this is actually crazy. Like this part might not be impressive because we don't know technically if this actually looks good or not, but the fact that it, it just spit out this massive amount of basically a response and it's free, bro, I don't know how they're doing it. Someone tell me how, but this is, this guy, this has to be expensive according to what people are saying at least for US based, but apparently China said they can do it for cheaper. And I mean, look, you just saw it right ahead. So let's go ahead and bring this code over to the code editor. So now on the code editor, let's just go ahead and create some basic files. Let's do index.html. Let's do a uh, style.css, but I think it did it all in like one thing. And let's just say like app.js. Here, let us uh, paste this code. Look at this, 226 lines of code. Let's save it real quick. And uh, let's see if it's, I actually don't see any, is there HTML? Oh, there it is, my bad, just kidding. All right, so now let's right click. Let's uh, open this in the browser. And this moment of truth. Okay, so take a look at this. Here is the website and is this it? This is it, I guess. All right, so first of all, what happens if I click this? Nothing. 
So this is a start, and I'm not gonna lie. First of all, th even though this is this is like a super basic design, this is actually technically better than anything I've seen from the previous ChatGPT Claude because the typical version when I create something with them is they have like a deep pot. It's like the typical thing you see like Bootstrap or just templated code on a oh snap, this stuff can move too. Okay, that's nice. That's that's a little nice. That's a little nice. That's pretty cool. Now I don't know if this is gonna make my computer explode if uh, I try to make even more fancy stuff, but right off the bat, this is actually pretty nice. And I think my computer stopped clicking. Hold on. <laughs> so maybe I should take this out later. But uh, yeah, it's lagging now. Uh, let's, let me let me uh go back to Deep Seek. I'm gonna say uh reduce. Oh, let's do this. Let's say now add a navigation menu make it nice looking let's just say make it make it look nice and then uh can you reduce the animation or choose a different design so that it doesn't make my computer lag can you add additional sections to make it look like a complete full website with a footer at the bottom with the proper links and any other important info and let's just say upgrade the design to make it look even more epic and let's keep it like this so it technically has completed what I've asked for in the first prompt. Now the second prompt, this, if it does this prompt, it's gonna be game changing because what this means is essentially you could create a full on website template, at least with this is basic HTML as a JavaScript. So nothing crazy, but I'm pretty sure if I were to upgrade this to like Next.js or some something that's more modern and people use that typically at least people who actually code would use that would make it even crazier but for now i just want to keep things simple just to see and looks like it's thinking and it's thinking quite long so maybe this could be the break point maybe there are limits on the uh the amount of times you can ask it a question and i'm not too sure how long this is going to be sitting here or if this is just uh they have like a ton of users right now so it's like lagging so what I'm gonna do is, yeah, we have network error. So now let's try to regenerate this. And let's see, can it do it again? Oh, look at this. So with ChatGPT, no hate on them, but if whenever it has some sort of error, even now when I try to use it, I have to like refresh the page and, and just like, just to press enter for some reason, it, it's, it's difficult. I don't know what, what what's up with the uh, OpenAI's ChatGPT's uh, input box, but Look at this second try and it has done it with a full explanation. So in theory, I don't really care about this explanation, but if you do want to see if you just started uh, making the coding or you, you just started learning coding and you have no idea, maybe that's helpful. But for me, I don't, I don't really care too much about that. Ideally, I would like, I could technically should have prompted and said, just give me the code and don't tell me anything else, which it probably would have done. But again, now let's see how many lines of code this is gonna give. And I'm curious too if this, uh, like other code, uh, like ChatGPT or even Claude, when you ask it to do a revision, it, it basically just replaces the entire code block with the new code. So it's it's much easier to just I could just recopy and paste without having to look at the specific line and like cut cut it out and then put it here. So this is also beneficial, I'm assuming, if it does what I think it's gonna do. So we'll find out after it finishes, cause I don't wanna say too much now and then it doesn't do it. But based off of this, like just looking at the code, we can see some animation action. Yeah, there's a body. There is the nav bar right there, hero section. Yeah, so I can see in plain view right now, like this is actually insane that this is free, that this is crazy. <laughs> this is literally crazy that this is free and open source. This is gonna change the game. I'm telling you, this is gonna literally revolutionize the planet when 
in just a few months, everything else is going to have to follow suit. Because if they can't, I mean, if, if again, this is assuming, too, that their cost that they have got it down is true. So there is a little error there, 2023. It is not. It is 2025 right now. So I'm guessing the data might be a little outdated on that part. Or actually, I'm not sure where they're getting their information either. Again, don't know, but let's just go ahead and click on copy here. I didn't even click it. Hold on. Oh, see, this is nice. I don't even have to scroll the way up. I can just copy right there. Let's go back to the code editor. So we were at originally, what is that? Two, was that 240? Let's see now. 392. Oh my gosh. What is that? That's like almost, uh, yeah, that's like 150 plus lines added. And you can see here, look at this is crazy. Like, cause the reason I think this is insane is because I've coded websites from scratch in HTML, CSS, JavaScript. You can see my channel basically, bro, this would take me so long to do from scratch. Oh my God. Okay. Now, first of all, we got to even see if this, this works. Hold on. I'm speaking too quick. Yo, this kind of looks like a website I made. What the heck? <laughs> I'm not even playing, bro. What the heck? This look, this kind of look like a website. This is like one of the websites I just posted in HTML. Oh my god, bro! Did they, they take my code? This is actually kind of crazy though. But look, it looks very similar. Like, oh my god, this looks just like some some site I coded myself from scratch. That was like I don't even remember how many hours. I think like two three hours. Obviously, they're missing um, some stuff, but it says Nexus. This is oh my okay they got this yeah I've done something like this too before I guess I guess it's kind of it's hard to say because uh this is standard like you know website uh, navigation and the, it's just black and green so I can't really you know say too much but I'm I'm not even playing this looks very very similar minus the images to something I've created but as far as this template I mean this is this is pretty solid and this this footer. This footer looks very similar to something that I've coded myself. Like this is this is actually crazy. It looks literally like my website on one of my recent videos. This isn't even like a old one. This is like one of the recent ones. It looks kind of like it. It's obviously it's missing uh, a few things, but okay, we got the scroll. Yeah. So okay, this isn't okay. This one part's not working, but isn't insane. But I'm pretty sure if I were to add some additional things to it. I'm I'm pretty positive it's going to be able to do it. Like if I want to say add a hero image section, add some more animations, etc. So right off the bat, at least this these are the, the things right now I can say right off the bat. Is one, it's free. So I can't even get upset if it's if it's not what I expected. It's literally free. Two is the uh the length of the response is significantly larger, at least from the recent versions that I was using on the like the twenty dollar a month plan. For like ChatGPT, obviously they have the you know the two hundred plus a month, but come on, like who actually is gonna be using that? Like the normal person who doesn't need it, they don't. Obviously, if you're using it for business stuff, but right off the bat, that is actually pretty impressive. So, first uh, impressions, this is pretty game changing. The only things I think you gotta look into are their terms of service and their policies because I think it's very different from uh, ChatGPT. Obviously, it's a uh, from China, so you gotta make sure you're looking into that, especially if you are building stuff on here. Do read that stuff, but other than that, let me know your thoughts on this in the comments below. 